Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about trimming multiple lines at the same time. I'm not going to say this is ever going to happen to you, but anytime you just learn one more step, um, you can always use it in other processes. I've got some, just some, I'm going to call them matchsticks, uh, different heights, different angles, and I want to trim them all. What most people would think would be to hold down the control button and go, I want to, I want them all to be that tall. Well, you could take your virtual segment delete key and just start deleting them. But that would take multiple clicks and not really necessary. What you can do is, and, and it kind of helps you look at it, is bring in an indexing line past your shortest line. And let's go ahead and bring one down to the bottom too. And then get your rectangle tool and start on that line. And if you start on that line, it'll stay on that line. Encompass them all. We'll go and do the bottom two also. Then you don't really want to do this, but one at a time, you're going to grab all your sticks that are grouped together, hold down your shift key and hold down grab the, the rectangle and go back minus front. It trimmed them all at the same time. Same thing here. Hold down your shift key, get your rectangle, back minus front. So now if you take away your guidelines, I don't know when you would ever use this particular case, but it kind of shows you back minus front and how you could trim multiple lines at the same time and make life easy. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.